This is Dolany TV, guys. A big welcome back to NHL 17 here on the channel. Today, once more, picking up the Seattle Thunderbirds franchise season mode. And, guys, I'm excited to announce that we will be signing Lilligren here to a contract. I'm sure he'll accept right away. He'll get back to us in a couple of days. He's expecting some offers, so we'll see what we get in terms of if we are adding Lilligren or not. Let's take a look one more time at the lines. And in case you guys are unfamiliar, we have made some line changes. Wyatt Bear now in the lineup just filling in. And Benz Miller on the fourth line. And we've kind of stacked up that third and second line there. We're kind of getting everyone in as I see fit. Hopefully that will work. And of course Ethan Bear leading the way on the defense. So in net... We have Rylan Toth, who figures to be something. And then you've got Carl Stankowski, who's hoping to be something as well. So, we've got a couple of kids coming up, and we're hoping to get through this peacefully. Uh, what we need to know is we are facing the Portland Winterhawks up first. I'm going to sim one, and then do a full game sim next, and then we're going to see how that goes. So, the full game sim will go right here and get into sim game and go period by period, see who scores for us, that kind of stuff. So the first period, what will we get? We will get a 2-1 game. Taiska scores for us while Iverson and DeJong score on Toth. So Toth a little bit shaky here early, but he'll pick it up. I'm sure going into the second period, where it's now 3-2, Matthew Barzell scores his first of the year. That's solid, and we will simulate the third period here see what it's like we're hoping for something 22 to 17 the shots 23 to 20 if you guys want me to play a game i might as well play a game in this so let me know in the comments section below if you want me to caleb jones scores and that will be the end of the game right there didn't mean to sim i just kind of got trigger happy so caleb jones scores a big goal he had a goal and two assists in the opening game of the season of course he did come on it's caleb jones we're talking about after all and Ryan Gropp was injured until October 3rd. So that kind of sends our lines in disarray here. We'll add in a left winger who is scratched. And I think that would be Wedman who is scratched. We'll substitute him in all lines for right now. And that should get Wedman some time up there. We'll get into the next Portland game. Simulate up to this day. And Timothy Lilligren has accepted our offer. So that's good. We will stop the simulation. And get our new stud defenseman in there on the defensive side of things because that's huge to have a new defender who will be operating as our number one co-a with of course Ethan Bear but you've got Lilligren and Ethan Bear on the point now on that top unit should be looking good there for us so we're looking for something out of him let's uh Go back to Ed Lyons and make sure he's on the power play and getting the time he deserves to get this team where it needs to be. You see Lilligren on that 30 spot. We'll get him up there with Ethan Bear and hope for the best. Uh, actually, now I want to go and edit Lyons one more time because I feel like I should put the guy that this series was inspired by on the power play at some point, and that would be Alexander True on the power play there, but we will put uh, Mr. Elijah Brown on the power play see if he can do anything for us on the power play of course trying to top his actual career numbers from this year so let's go we're down one game we've lost it so now we got to go and win against vancouver and simulate up against portland and go for revenge that's what it's all about edit lines ryan grop back available we will get grop in for wedman and see what grop can do for us grop of course 64 overall so we're seeing hopefully He's getting in and he's getting us something good against Vancouver. It's a 4-3 shootout win. So we're up against Portland once again. We'll do the same thing we just did and get through this simply. Let's go. Period number one, a 1-1 tie. Glass gets score and so does Grop. So Grop right back in the lineup gets a goal. And then second period is scored by McAhern. And we got ourselves a situation here. Again, finding ourselves down to the Portland Winter Hawks, that's not good. We can't afford that. We need to get a goal here in this final 10 minutes of play. Got to pick something up here. The boys are trying to do something. Got five minutes to go. Junior hockey, a difficult sport to get momentum sometimes. 
and we end up falling two to one against the Portland Winterhawks. Ethan Mindorf gets the game winner as the goaltender. He's the first star, and then you got Ryan Toth, who was second star with a 9.35 save percentage. So Toth not not at fault in that game. We'll simulate that game and get up against Spokane here. So Victoria will come visit us at home. Hopefully we can win this. We're 0 for 2 in simulations and we get a 7-1 victory. So after 5 games we'll take a look at the stats. See how we're doing. Sim the game against Spokane Chiefs. So we're looking for Kyler Yamamoto to do something here. And the first period goes as such. It's a 1-1 tie. Kyler Yamamoto of course scores. See I know what's up. And Cole scores on Sittler. So we've got ourselves a 1-1 tie like I said. Second period we score 3 how about Grop, Ethan Bear, and Vulcan all scoring from what appears to be the right-hand side of the net. And that's a solid thing for us because we're now up 4-1 and we have a chance to go to 3-2 on the air. We're out shooting Spokane heavily. We're having a really good attempt on them. And there we go. Ottenbright gets a goal for us as well. So Sittler having a rough night. 5-on-4 power play. We can't cash in as Kyler Yamamoto looks to cash in on the penalty kill. And of course the kid is good. And Elniuk scores, so now they've all got all the momentum, but luckily we quash it, and we win 5-3. So we'll check the three stars on this one and see how we performed. Turner Ottenbright gets the uh, first star for us. He had a goal and two assists. Kyler Yamamoto gets the third star with two goals. So keep that in mind. Kyler Yamamoto killing it. And Keegan Colser injured now. He's our top line left winger, so we got to get him up there, and we got to get... Uh, Somebody in there who can fill in, and I think that would be once again Wedman who looks to fill in. So you see Matthew Wedman, 17 years old, 53 overall, not a bad player. And we are sitting uh, quite a few points back here, so we've got to take a look at the stats, see how we're doing. Matthew Barzell, 8 points in 5 games. The kid just putting up points left, right, and center. Ethan Bear, 5 points. It's not too bad. And then you've got Mullinen. Ottenbright, who is a defenseman at, well, 58 overall. He's put up four grop, three goals, so he's been a goal scorer for us. Lilligren with three assists. And then you've got Elijah Brown, who's got two assists in five games. Everybody else kind of trying to score points here. Wyatt Bear looking for his first point. Matthew Wedman and Anthony Bishop. So you have two guys who haven't played a game, and then Wyatt Bear is the only guy who has not had a point in it. Five games played, so okay, we've had a couple guys play good games, and that's that's interesting to see how it's gone. So the Seattle Thunderbirds got to go sim through another game, and then get into this game against well the Everett Silvertips. So Prince George Lilligren has been injured with a stomach injury, so all of a sudden we lose Lilligren for a bit here, and that really sucks. Is he's been leading the way on defense, and we need to get Audenbright up there, and we will get. A defenseman in. Who can we get in on defense? Looks like uh, this Hyman kid we can get in. Hyman looks to be a great little prospect there. Aaron Hyman, defensive defenseman. We'll see what he can do. 3-1 loss to Prince George. So we end up now going into this Everett Silvertips game with a little bit of an issue as we are 3-3 three and three on the year trying to find our game. And how about that? We're down 2 nothing after the first period. Getting out shot. 12-2, second period we strike back, Ottenbright gets a goal, so Ottenbright having a good go of it in place of Lilligren. There's Tzika getting the goal for us, and all of a sudden we're on a 5-on-4 power play, or penalty kill, and luckily we kill it off, so we're even in shots. Tulula scores, and that costs us a big goal there. Toth not being sharp in this one, he, I mean he's made... 27 29 saves now 30 saves on the game and we are going to lose no strand make sure we don't lose another one and we are headed to overtime so we'll resume the simulation five minute overtime we got to do something and it will be king getting the goal and we fall in overtime but at least we were able to tie it up late but aaron irving lucas scrumetta and brian king your three stars for the Everett Silver Tips in this one were 3 3 and 1. We're going to simulate this next one and get into game number 9. And then probably simulate the next one. And Lilligren back available. This is a huge benefit to the team with Lilligren back available because now we can get Audenbright down there and Strand down there and Harsh. 
you're out. The odd man out is Lilligren back in, and we've got a solid defense. Lilligren looking sharp on the back end for us. We'll get Portland in there, and we'll get lose 2-1 to Portland, and the Kelowna Rockets, who are 7-3-2, and two, so they've played a lot more hockey than us. Four extra games, to be precise. We'll go get against them, and we'll see what we can do. Lilligren back in the lineup, so he's had a full game to repair, and we'll see first period. It will be a 3-1 offensive explosion. Lilligren getting his first goal of the season. That's huge, and the Eisner and Hyman. Hyman, who also draw, drew in the other games, so there we go. We are up 3-1. No scoring in the, well, second period, so we'll go to the third period. Up 21-15 to 15 in shots. We're out. Killing Kelowna here. Cal Foot scores. So Foot getting a goal and now they get a power play and they've got momentum on their side as topping scores. So all of a sudden Ryan or that's Stankowski in that. So I don't expect too much, but Gardner getting it done as the Kelowna Rockets get a third period comeback here. And unless we get a goal in the final minute, they get a short hand or an empty netter. And man, we just gave that game up on a silver platter for the Kelowna Rockets, Elijah Brown had a goal, or had two assists, so good on him having a couple of points in this one to get the job done, but man, we really stunk it up in that one. You see, we're falling back quite heavily in this U.S. division. Matthew Barzell, 11 points on the year. Otten Bright with six. Ethan Bear with six. Elijah Brown has five. That's the fourth line center. Then you got Lilligren, Colser, and everyone else kind of filling in where need be. And Wyatt Bear still without a point in nine games played. So keep that in mind. Wyatt Bear having a rough go early on, guys. Thank you for tuning into this season underway episode here with the Seattle Thunderbirds franchise season mode. Guys, thank you for tuning in, and I will catch you guys in the next one.